What's up YouTube, Danny Bizzle here, just going to do a quick deck profile of my Wetlands Attack deck. Um, it's not amazing, but it's funny to play, uh, especially when you get the combos off, so I'm going to go into my deck edit. Here we go. Right, so we start off, we'll have two Snowman Eaters. This is basically just a one for one uh, if the, your opponent has got something big. Um, just kills it straight away and helps with solidarity being live. Uh, here we go with the direct attackers. We have Dark of the Ice Barrier. It's a nice 1200 attack uh, direct attacker, uh, especially if you've got wetlands. It goes up to 24 and obviously it goes up to 32 or 4000 if you've got everything out, if you've got two solidarities and the wetlands out. So yeah, it's pretty beefy. Um, it's nice uh, just to try and keep that uh, alive, really, and just keep swinging, uh, attacking your opponent. They can't do anything unless they get rid of like, the wetlands or um, solidarities. Uh, to keep the troll aspect, I've got two penguin soldiers and two flip foot frogs. Again, certainly as the snowman eaters, basically they're just uh, there to get rid of opponent's big monsters, uh, especially like. Uh, Exceeds and synchros, uh, just stuff that uh, is a bit annoying and we don't really want on the field and helps with solidarity being live. Uh, this is hilarious, especially if you've got like more than one frog out because you could bounce more than one net back to their hand or extra deck. Uh, yeah, it's pretty good. I've had quite a lot of rage quits, uh, just frustrates the opponent. Uh, another direct attacker, we've got Unifrog. Uh, I can search these out by Duke Frog as well when Duke Frog's destroyed. Uh, just nice, simple direct attack. This one's a little bit uh, less attack than Duke Dark, but it does the same job. We have three Duke Frogs. This is basically just a nice little search art. Or if you get the Duke Block out, they can't attack, uh, which is also quite funny. Um, yeah, it, they, it's not as good as the Watt Lock though, but. It still does his job. Uh, two battle faders. Hopefully this don't get solemn warning. Sometimes it does, uh, but it just stops like the OTKs. Uh, it saved me so many times actually, where my opponent thought they had game, swung into me after like swinging over like, one of my monsters, left me. Uh, I've left them with like 400 life points or something, and I've drawn into a Unifrog or a Judark, just attack directly after saving myself. Uh, one terraforming. You don't really want too many. Uh, I've got enough search cards. I think one works fine. Out, like I say, I want to keep it at 40 cards. You could put in two and take out something else. I'm not sure what you'd want to take out though. Uh, three medallions. This is just to search out the two darks of the ice barrier. And, uh, adds a little bit of consistency to the deck, obviously, because you want the direct attackers as soon as possible. Just keep poking damage at your opponent. Uh, same reason, Pot Duality is just a good card. You don't do uh, any special summoning other than Battle Fader. So, yeah, it's just good to have. Solidarity just works with the deck. Other than the two Battle Faders, uh, they're all like water, aqua type. So, yeah, it's a nice little boost and it can surprise your opponent when you think they've got like a 1200 attack. They don't do anything, don't solemn it, and then you just wipe down a wetlands and solidarity, and then, well, they're forced to use their back row, really. Uh, wetlands again uh, gives my gives all my uh, monsters a nice 1200 attack. Other than obviously snowman eaters and battle faders, but you don't summon the battle faders and snowman eaters don't stay on the field long anyway. Uh, yeah, it's the main thing in the deck. I say with the one terraforming, it works out quite well. Uh, two Aegis. Actually, I want to go up to three uh, simply because this card's amazing, especially if they don't swing into like, your cards. If they can't kill you. Uh, yeah, definitely use this. Uh, it saved me a couple of times, especially if they attack into a defense flip flop or I want to set up the Duke block. Uh, it's really good. Or if they go to bottomless uh, once you've got the Soldarian weapons already out. Yeah, it's quite good. Uh, free threatening roars. Uh, this is just amazing. Keeps your monsters in the field uh, so they can't just swing over them. Uh, chain of all as well. So, yeah, pretty damn good. Uh, we've got the Sonnen Brigade, Sonnen Warning, two Sonnen Judgments. Uh, Two solid warnings, one solid judgment, just standard really. Uh, thinking about changing this, putting three Wobokus in it, but 
I'm not sure. Maybe I'll take out the Sonic Judgment and Dark Bribe and put two for Bokus, or just take out the both Dark Bribes and the Sonic Judgment, put in three with Bokus, meaning I could just keep poking and they can't attack me or do anything really other than try to blow up my field. And this is where the huge revolution comes in. Um, just amazing, stops uh, like Scrap Dragons if I've got the Duke Lock, Black Rose, stuff like that. There's a lot of cards that destroys, uh, a lot of cards that destroy lately, like the Fire Fist and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, it's quite good. And the single MST, like I said, I might take this out as well. Uh, the deck's just really simple, literally throw it together in like five minutes. Uh, I used to play a similar build and Substitute was legal uh, a couple of years ago, but uh, yeah, yeah, a lot's changed since then. Uh, like I said, I might change a few things in the deck. Um, I'm not gonna think about it hard uh, or long. And yeah, that's it. Uh, no extra side. You could probably, what, like I say, I only play like single games anyway, so my side deck's pretty pointless. Uh, extra deck you put, probably could put in like Gatties and uh, some other things like Leviathan maybe if you get two Snowman Eaters. Uh, you could put Gachi, but like I say, if it goes into the grave, it makes your solidarity dead. Um, yeah, so if you like it, give us a thumbs up. If you want to test it, you can, can't really just do what you want with it. Uh, like I say, I've enjoyed playing with it, uh, winding up my opponents, um, and I hope you enjoy the vids. I'll keep them coming anyway, and uh, we should have some exciting decks and deck profiles soon. Uh, Danny Bizzle, I'm out, and uh, yeah, hope you enjoy. Bye bye.